Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Emily and today I have for you a short video to help relieve any back pain, usually in the lower back um, that we tend to suffer from quite commonly these days. And this sequence is sure to help relieve any tension or discomfort in the lower back. So when you're ready, come down to sitting on your mats and we'll find our way into our tabletop position to begin. So we're on all fours, the knees are hip width apart, the hands are shoulder width apart. And we're spreading those fingers wide and the belly and ribs pull in, the core is engaged. And to begin, we'll work through some cat cows. So on our next inhale, we'll draw the belly down, lift the chest and chin up. Exhaling, pull the belly in, rounding the spine, bringing the chin to the chest. Inhaling, waving up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting the chest and chin. Exhaling, pulling the belly in, rounding the spine and really pressing the mat away from you to stretch out and open up the shoulders. Inhale, lifting the chest and chin. Exhaling, round. Two more times. Inhale, lifting. Exhaling, round. Inhale, waving up. Exhaling, pulling the belly in and rounding the spine. Inhale, come back to your neutral tabletop position. We can then bring the knees together and we can sink the hips back coming into a child's pose. If we need a release in the lower back today, we can bring the arms down by the sides and we can bring the forehead to rest on the mat. If we feel we need an opening in the upper back, in the shoulders, we can lengthen the arms in front, resting the forehead on the mat. Just listening to your body and finding what it needs. And just taking a few breaths here. Allowing yourself to relax in your child's pose. Maybe closing the eyes for a moment and connecting with your breath. Noticing that light release in the lower back. One more breath. On our next inhale, we can find our way back up to our tabletop position. Then simply walking the hands forwards one pace, tucking the toes under, we'll take the hips back and up to our first downward facing dog and we can paddle the feet, stretch out the legs. A nice full body stretch here. We're nice and soft in the elbows. And the shoulders gently pull down the back away from the ears. If we're rounding in the spine, we can bend those knees so that we can reach the chest through and lengthen through the spine. And wherever we are in our downward facing dog, moving the body in whichever way feels nice for you. So maybe you just need stillness right now. Or maybe we need some movement. Nice deep breaths into your belly. Then on our next inhale, we're going to bend the right knee and bring it to the right wrist. The foot can come out to the side. And then we can slide that left leg back as far as the body allows. If we need, we can grab hold of a block to place underneath that right foot. Just to support the hips there a little bit if we need. That is an optional uh, prop for you though. And just resting here, finding space in your pigeon pose. We're pressing the fingers into the mat. And to help open up that lower back, as we exhale, we'll bend the elbows and fold it forwards. Inhaling, pressing into the fingertips, 
and come back up to center. And we'll do that a couple more times with our breath. Exhale, folding it forwards. Inhale, lengthen. One more time, exhaling, folding forwards. Inhale, lift. Coming back up to center. One more breath here. Then on our next exhale, we can either bring ourselves to sit or we can challenge our hip mobility by bringing this back leg all the way around and through to the front. Great. We can then take that right leg over uh, the left knee. Then either keeping the left leg extended or hooking it round to the right hip, coming into our Lord of the Fishes, making sure we're grounding down through both of the sit bones. Inhale, sit nice and tall through the spine. Exhale, twisting round to the right. We have the right leg on top, so we're twisting to the right. Looking back behind the shoulder and feeling that nice juicy twist in the spine. Hooking on to that knee. And the belly and ribs pull in. Nice deep breath. One more breath. Exhaling, we can gently come back to center. We can then just bring both the legs round to one side, coming back to our tabletop and finding our own way to our downward facing dog. And we can take a moment to paddle the feet again here, stretch out the legs. And then we'll do the same on the left side. So we'll lift up the left knee and bring it towards the left wrist, the foot comes out to the side and we can slide that right leg back as far as the body allows. Again, grabbing hold of our block if we need to place under that left sit bone this time. Otherwise, if we're not using, we can pop those aside. Inhaling, lengthening through the spine, nice and tall. Exhaling, we'll fold it forwards. Inhale, lengthen. Exhaling, fold. Inhale. Coming back up. Last time, exhaling, folding it forwards. Inhale, coming all the way back up to center. And then just holding here for a breath. And then again, either bringing ourselves to sit or we can challenge our mobility on the right side by bringing that right leg round and through to the front. Beautiful. Taking that left foot over the right leg, either keeping that leg extended like we did on the other side or we can hook it round to the opposite hip. Again, coming back to our Lord of the Fishes. Inhale, sit nice and tall through the spine. Exhale, twisting round to the left. Working back behind the shoulder and hooking onto that leg. Taking a nice deep breath, making sure we're not collapsing or falling back. We can press the fingertips into the ground bent behind us so we can lengthen through the spine and sit nice and tall. And just enjoying your twist here. Feeling that nice release in the back. One more breath. Exhaling, we can gently come back to center. We can then lengthen both the legs out the mat. 
and using our core, we can bring the arms parallel to the ground, tucking the chin in, exhaling, rolling down the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, with control, using that core, coming down to lie. Then bringing the right knee into the chest, give it a nice hug. We'll take it over to the left side. The lower back comes off the mat, but we're still grounding down through the shoulder blades. And we can extend that right arm out to the side and gaze over to the right as well. Maybe resting the left hand on top of the right knee. And nice deep breaths. Again, tuning into this asana, noticing where you feel a lightness, maybe in the lower back. Maybe across the front of the body you feel a stretch. One more breath. Exhaling gently, coming back to center, hugging that knee into the chest and then extending it down to the mat. We can then bring the left knee into the chest, give it a nice hug. Then taking the left knee over to the right side, the lower back comes off the mat, but still grounding down through the shoulders and extending the left arm out. Coming into a supine twist. Feeling that beautiful release in the lower back. One more breath. Exhaling gently. Coming back to center, we can hug that left knee into the chest and then extend the leg back down to the mat. Then bending both the knees, bringing the soles of the feet to the mat. The feet are about hip width apart here, there's some space. And maybe we can just touch the heels with the fingertips. Tucking those shoulders underneath and we're planting the palms and feet into the mat. And gently pressing that lower back into the mat as well. On our next inhale, we'll roll up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting the pelvis up into our bridge pose. A nice deep breaths. A little bit of a back bend here. We're nice and active in the glutes and the lower back. Those muscles are engaged. And if it feels nice, we can interlace the fingers underneath to open up the chest and shoulders. A little bit more, keeping that chin tucked into the chest. Nice deep belly breaths. One more breath. On our next exhale, releasing the fingers, planting the palms into the mat, and slowly rolling back down the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. We can then hug both the knees into the chest, give yourself a nice hug. Maybe rock from side to side, give the back a bit of a massage. Perhaps flex point the toes to stretch out the ankles and feet. Beautiful. And then using our core, we can gently rock ourselves back up to sitting. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that has helped relieve some uh, back pain for you. Um, please make sure to leave a comment in the description below. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Namaste. Bye-bye.